Here's today's face-to-face -face moment brought to you by Edward Jones, and I would say this is a definitive look at our face-to-face -face moment. Yeah, you know, this is something when he gets that upset that they've repped a bunch of times in practice against that look. That's the che another check that he wants to get to. They're going to actually mark that ball a little short of the first down. Well, now, now they're going kind of going back and forth here. They actually do have the first down. Punting unit had come on the field there. But going back to Brian Van Gorder for a second, you know, it's something, a check that they've had against that offensive look. That's why he's in the face of Jake Holla, who, who makes all the check, checks and changes for the defensive unit. Browning throws again. That boy, a wobbly pass. Somebody might have deflected that. Ryan Van Gorder out there, high five of his guys. Yeah, D Ford. There was a ball. Yeah, they got his hand on the football. They're trying to go quick to the outside. A little smash route. And there's a flag down as well. I think the crowd's booing. They thought it was. Sideline warning. Auburn. That's their first warning. Second down. Yeah, I agree with the officials. It's just a tip the ball on first down. We need to get that. <laughs> That fired up. Well, this is a team that started this drive behind the down and distance market, and they were able to pick up a first down. Well, I think what happened was, I think Brian Van Gorder might have thought it was fourth down. I think a lot of people thought it was fourth down, and they were just going for it because of the switching of personnel. Right. But in reality, quietly, the chains moved, and it was first down. And I think that's where the confusion set in. felt like you know what we got a 6-3 guy back there standing in the back of the end zone let's throw it up to him see if we can make something happen with seven seconds left what about the defense's job containing their quarterback colton browning well right now we're doing okay with containing him on the pass right now we got to get some of these runs un under control but we're gonna work that out at halftime thank you coach dave back to you they felt like it was the right time and boy did it pay off turn and not really give your route away too early for a guy in zone coverage to jump you you just gotta have a feel for it There's Auburn, and you see the road they have coming up. Well, let's go visit with Kara once again. Coach, you knew this was going to be a game opponent this week in ULM. Take us through what's going through your mind, both late in the second half and then into the overtime. Well, I told him at halftime that, uh, you know, it was a two-touchdown game at halftime. I said, I promise you this is going to come down to the end. There was no way it wasn't. It was going to be a repeat of last week. So uh, we knew that's what was going to happen. That's a, that's a very good football team. I'm going to tell you what, i got to give them a lot of credit. You predicted this. You said your team is a work in progress. If you knew that this was going to be the outcome, where are they right now? Well, we're going to have to look at it and see. You know, there's some really good things that happened today. There's some things that we've certainly got to improve on. But you know what? We'll take a win. Whether it's ugly, whether it's pretty, it doesn't matter. I'm just proud of every guy in that locker room. We're going to continue to work to improve. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Kara. Dave, as Coach Chizik said, a win is a win on a day like this. There's no question, Kara. They will take it and head to the locker room, regroup, and think about next week. of the first quarter the Auburn basketball legends were honored certainly Charles Barkley in that group what are you doing down on the plains this weekend well the new coach Tony Barbie who's doing a fantastic job he started inviting all the old players back last year we have a golf tournament have dinner with some sponsors just to raise awareness of the program and uh, we got a bunch of guys here this year pretty cool looks like you've lost some weight Charles tell us about it well I'm down about 50 60 pounds Weight Watchers is a great product little endorsement tip there. Uh, but I, you know what? I, I, Alabama, with a fattest state, with number one in, in diabetes, stroke, and hypertension. And I'm hoping it takes off here. We got a lot of fat people here. All right, let me send it back up to Dave. <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> My good friend Charles. Oh, boy.